See, we should have been drinking tequila. All right. I'm here at the showroom of Heritage Wine Custom Wine Cellars with Aaron Duran. He's the VP here. Um, and just a kind of little introduction to them. They are one of the leading wine cellar builders in Arizona. They're certified Vintage View partner. They're great to work with, easy going, um, and they're really killing it throughout the Southwest. So we wanted to come down and see what's going on. Well, glad to have you. Thank you. And we are getting ready to drink a nice Arizona wine that's called Arizona Stronghold. And Aaron's going to tell us about it. Yeah, this is a great, um, actually, Rhone blend uh, locally here. Uh, the winemakers have an affinity for Arizona, so they, of course, wanted this to speak for the state. So we'll find uh, some juniper, desert herbs. And we're going to see how it tastes. We'll see right how it now. tastes. So we're yeah. going to not clink, clink, and clink. taste it. <laughs> Pretty good. I do like a good red. Very nice. So, just a couple questions for you, Aaron. I know you've been in the industry a pretty long time. Um, describe the Southwest style that you guys have all over your Instagram page. Where's that come from and what's it look like? The Southwest style has really evolved uh, recently. Um, it used to be a lot of, you know, stuccos and earth tones and um, cactuses cactus and, and beams right. um, but it's really evolved um, this is a, a mixing pot of people here in the state so sure. we've got uh, quite a range now we've got farmhouse and craftsmen and so the southwest style isn't what you might imagine anymore a lot of glass showing off the wine um, focal points in the home um, but it's all over the place when it comes to the design the textures the colors um, so it's, it's really been an interesting evolution to see. Cool, very cool. So being in Arizona, it's probably one of, if not the hottest place in the United States. Um, cooling challenges, describe to me what you got going on there. Cooling is a massive challenge here. Um, our biggest issue is our ambient air temperature. So um, what people would traditionally see uh, when trying to cool a space, they might figure out the cubic footage. How big is the cellar? Right. You just can't go by those parameters here. So. Uh, we figure out, we do custom BTU loads for every wine cellar we do. We figure out you know, what the exposures are, uh, exterior walls, how much glass, uh, all of those things so we can figure out really what our BTU cooling is. And then we have to factor the compressor condensers are sitting outside and 115 degree ambient. Right. So we figure out all that so that we can make sure that the cooling is stable. Okay, cool. So what kind of trends are you seeing in just overall wine cellar designs that... Um, might have changed over the past 10 years. Yeah, especially, I would say even in the last five and a half, six years, there's been a dramatic shift from a lot of lattice style, mm -hmm. um, the old redwood, maybe even pine racking, uh, everything shifting from that. So we see a lot more cabinetry style uh, oh. in the wood, um, but more and more people are wanting to show off their wine front and center. So they're using uh, more modern streamlined wine racking, bringing the label, showing off the bottles. Um, and that's the... Being more mainstream in the house. Absolutely. Yeah, no longer relegated to a, a room right, somewhere else. A basement else. or no. a cellar, right? It's, it's when you walk in the front door, it's in the dining room, it's right off the kitchen, the entertaining space. It is front and center. It is the focal point. Very cool. So that brings me to my next segue, which is, tell me about the most insane wine cellar you've done here. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, because we're... Our shop is so custom, um, it's just such a massive range of what we, we do everything from small, I've done nine inch deep wine cellars, fully climate controlled, glass front with of course the Vintage View single deep, Right. Uh, that worked out perfect, um, but everything to, we've done 17 foot tall glass cubes uh, with wow, double story racking. Um, one of the ones though that uh, hopefully we'll have a picture of it for you, um, it's four sides of glass, completely enclosed, FCFs all the way around. Lighting, of course, is so important for a wine cellar, uh, being a, a custom shop as we are. Um, and the backdrop of this wine cellar, though, it's you've got Camelback Mountain in the distance, uh, um, a see-through fireplace. It is just nice. the absolute centerpiece of the home. So when you're celebrating something big, like me coming to town, because let's face it, that's a party. <laughs> what do you usually open? Um, special occasions, uh, we would probably open uh, Camus, doing a good cab from Camus. Uh, Anything uh, since 2010, uh, 
I'll enjoy a bottle of that. Or a good tequila. Well, of course, tequila. We're in Arizona. Exactly. So we've got uh, plenty of sipping tequilas to enjoy as well. So when you're drinking all this good stuff, where are you drinking it? Or in your house? Do you have a cellar or do you have a good favorite place to hide? Actually, especially here in Arizona with our climate, uh, we like to go out. So right nice. here where our, uh, our showroom is based in Old Town Scottsdale, there's oh a couple hundred restaurants, um, coffee shops, galleries, museums, just in this one square mile period, uh, space. And uh, so it's always a good time there and enjoying a great bottle of wine. Very cool. Well, thank you for inviting us over and joining us on our lovely episode of Wine and Design and hope to see you soon. Absolutely. And cheers. Thank you. Clink. <laughs>